So I wanted to talk about for, very briefly the, the, the Alejandro Ramirez drama. Now the drama is mainly focused on me. People are like, you suck, Ben Feingold. I always knew you sucked. Everything that you said was crazy. Your stream is unwatchable. Your opinions are stupid. You're the worst person who ever lived. Signed, anonymous person who has an internet connection. Okay, so first of all, let me let me explain like facts. I'm going to spit facts because I something wrong with my mouth. So I'm spitting a lot lately. So people are complaining that I said the age of consent in Costa Rica is lower. Okay, the age of consent in Costa Rica is lower. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry you don't like that. That's that's what it is. So I pointed that out for reasons people don't understand, and that reason is. There are complaints against Alejandro, more than one, that some of his behavior, whatever that behavior is, has been with girls who are underage. And people are like, no, that wasn't the complaint. The complaint was that he, uh, what's the word she used? Uh, assaulted Jen Shahadi. Jen Shahadi's not underage. It is true that Jen is claiming that Alejandro assaulted her. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about other stuff. So there's a lot going on here uh, that you guys don't know about, even though Jen posts it on Twitter and Facebook, but you guys still don't know. And obviously, when Jennifer Shahadi makes such an accusation, I don't care who she's accusing, that person's guilty and Jennifer's right. Because I know these people. I've known these people since before you were born. Well, Jennifer, I have. I've probably known Jennifer Shahadi longer than most of you have been alive. So I've never heard her in my life ever accuse anybody of anything. Not specifically. Obviously, on the internet, she gets harassed a lot. And she might say, I'm a woman. I get harassed a lot on the internet. Because that's, you know, that's what happens when you're a woman. You get harassed on the internet. Sorry. Now, the reason I said Costa Rica has a younger age of consent is because they do and he grew up in Costa Rica then somebody said you shouldn't say bad things about Puerto Rico what okay so Alejandro grew up in Costa Rica where the age of consent is 15 although some people on the internet say it's 14 so either it used to be 14 and now it's 15 or everybody on the internet's just wrong, which is, that's more likely. And so from Alejandro's perspective, if he's in his late teens or early 20s, let's say 18 to 25, and he's interested in girls who are 15, 16, 17, that may be legal in Costa Rica, and it's illegal in a lot of U.S. states, most of them. I think 15 is illegal in every U.S. state. So I was just pointing that out, that... Things that are considered crimes in the U.S. may not be considered crimes in other countries. I wasn't saying Costa Rica is bad. I was just saying they have different laws than we do. And he grew up there. And he moved to the U.S., I believe, when he was 16. He started going to, to college in the U.S., a smart guy. He actually has a degree in something. I mean, I know Alejandro really well. See, this is the problem. When I'm talking about Akaru and Gata and Alejandro and Jennifer, I know them really well. <clears throat> you guys heard of them. You guys are like, oh yeah, Gadakomsky, I heard of him. Okay, I've hung out with all these people for years. I mean, you guys are all the worst. So anyway, Alejandro is a super smart guy. He became a GM at the age of 15. So when he was a kid, he was traveling all over the world playing chess. So... Obviously, if he did assault Jen Shahadi, you know, it's a he said, she said, uh, and or if he was attracted to women, which would be illegal in the U.S., but not illegal in Costa Rica, that was my point, was it's not clear where these incidents took place. There's a third thing, which I didn't talk a lot about, but I'm going to talk about it now. There's a third thing, which is, that he's been accused of. These are just accusations. I'm telling you what he's accused of. Jen Shahadi's one. Underage girls. I think there's two or three complaints about that. Then the other one is there's complaints 
that he was interested in students. And so this is a different dynamic. Even if the student is like 18 and he's 25 or whatever, you know, if you're going to a tournament to coach girls, you're not supposed to be interested in them. That's, that's not illegal. It's just terrible. So these are the, there's three accusations. He was interested in his students. He was interested in girls that may be illegal in some countries, maybe, for him to be interested. And he assaulted Jen Shahadi. Those are the, those, and they're all separate. I'm not, just because Jen said something and I said something else doesn't mean Jen didn't say that either. These are all coming from Jen. I'm not, uh, it's not information I'm making up. A lot of people are coming forward. There's been investigations by the St. Louis Chess Club and the U.S. Chess Federation, which aren't legal investigations. The St. Louis University, like I'm just saying facts. If you don't like the facts, I'm sorry. You're a Republican. What can I tell you? He, he's the coach of St. Louis University, has been for many years. He's their chess coach, and they're one of the top five schools in the U.S. in chess, St. Louis University. The Billikens, okay? I'm not sure what a Billiken is. Anyway, um, he's no longer listed on their website as their chess coach. So things are being done by organizations and others that are, you know, making it tough for him. And so far, law enforcement hasn't got involved. But it seems to me if the allegations are true, I'm not saying they are, but if they are, law enforcement may get involved, maybe. And it could be some of the allegations are statute of limitations. And it could be, it's all a big, big misunderstanding. I'm just telling you what's happening, I'm not passing judgment. I've known everybody for years and years and years and years and years. These are people that I know. And I do know, I have some inside information for you. Um, I have a friend whose name I won't say, who is good friends with Yasser Sarawan, which I would say, I'm friends with Yasser Sarawan. We don't text and email each other every day. I don't think Yasser has a cell phone, by the way. Also, I'm not kidding. Um, I don't think he has. He, I mean, he didn't have a cell phone like seven years ago. I don't think he has one. But anyway, uh, a friend of mine who emails him a lot, they email each other. Uh, Yasser's the total shock that these allegations are coming to light. And my friend knows Alejandro really well, too, and he's also shocked. I'm less shocked, but... I didn't think there was any like assault with Jen Shahadi or illegal activities. I, I mean, I've known Jennifer forever, so she didn't tell anybody. Well, she didn't tell me. She might have told Greg, but I, I didn't know. I was like, Jen, she's, he's assaulting Jen Shahadi. What? I can't believe it. I mean, I believe it. I just like, I'm taken aback because you think, you know, people and I, I know both of them really well. And then to hear that one's assaulting the other one. What? That's crazy. So that's what's happening. Other chess streams aren't talking about it. Although Alexander Botez on Twitter was saying there should be some kind of like not a clearinghouse, but I'm, I don't know what word to use where people who feel they've been treated um, either sexually assaulted or under underage or something, something in that kind of ilk that they can report it somewhere because Susan Polgar claims on Twitter that this, these things happened to her a lot. And that if she reported it, that that didn't matter. The reporting went unnoticed and nobody cared. So I know when, when, when Susan and her sisters were kids, it was 100% their parents were with them at tournaments. I mean, I know that because I, I was at tournaments with them. And then, you know, as they get older, obviously, they're traveling by themselves. You know, they don't have like an entourage of people. But Susan said she had security at tournaments when she was older because you know, people would accost her or whatever, which, you know, that can happen. You traveling as a woman by yourself, the truth hurts. Yeah, Karen doesn't like to stay in certain hotels because she's scared of them. Like outside door and, you know, creepy hotels. We actually switched hotels at the poker tournament, we were at a hotel and when, which she didn't like. And when I opened the door, there was a guy in our room. He said he was maintenance, but he was like charging his phone and using our bathroom. He was maintenance. He just was using our room. So we left and we went to another hotel, which was a thousand times nicer.
So, but I mean, if Karen was alone and she opens the door and there's a guy like hanging out in her room, you know, that's uh, that's not a good hotel. The truth hurts. So I don't know. Right. Age of consent in countries is different. I just pointed that out because if you're if people claim Alejandro broke the law, it's possible he didn't break the law in certain instances with underage girls, but that what he did is still preposterous without being illegal. Because I don't know where incidents of the complaints took place. Okay. Now, coincidentally, uh, for reasons I can't explain that have nothing to do with me, I want to point out they have nothing to do with me, is I, I know what the legal age is in, in Missouri. And it, it, it's a lot more than 15. So that has nothing to do with me. You can, you can figure out how I know, maybe. Maybe you can figure it out. Maybe. Let's see how smart you guys are. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the legal age in some European countries, so South and Central America, other places is different. And some of, there's been at least two complaints, which, you know, I don't know if it's true, where he was, you know, too aggressive with um, people who aren't of age. And I think Jen Shahadi said as of like four days ago, there were four or five complaints about Alejandro from different, different people. Cause she's, people are actually telling her once she came out and said, this is what happened. Other people said that happened to me too. So it's, it's, you know, it's, um, they're not telling me, nobody cares what I think, but you know, I'm just relaying the information to you. And I, I don't do it for views. I mean, that's just, that's what's happening in the chess world. Sorry. A lot of people, who, who are like backing Hans Niemann. They're like on the Hans Niemann side of the controversy with that. Think that Alejandro was mean to, to Hans during some of these interviews, which I don't, but you know. I've known Hans Niemann since before most of you were born too. So, I mean, I know all these people, we know each other. So I give you my insight. And some of you don't like my insight, don't agree with it don't like the stream, don't like facts, don't like what I'm talking about, watch somebody else's stream. Sorry. If you don't like my stream, there's a million other streams to watch. You can watch all of them and you can tell them you hate them too. Or if you like it, you could watch their stream. You're not forced to watch my stream. It's easy to not watch